hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl kinesthetic and this is i guess we can call it episode one of kinesthetic works out if you guys follow me on instagram which you guys should by now at kinesthetic underscore i'm huge on working out i enjoy working out i just like looking good and feeling good so i get a lot of questions about working out so i am introducing fitness content to my channel ooh, ooh. and i just wanted to share this quick workout that i did while i was on vacation this week this series is going to be like a fitness friday type of thing so expect to see a fitness video on my channel almost every friday i'm not going to make any promises before we get started do not forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below and without further ado let's go ahead and get into the workout so this week i did travel to phoenix arizona this is my second time in phoenix and this time i stayed at the sheraton phoenix downtown hotel and y'all this gym was so popping this is probably the best gym that i have had at a hotel that i stayed at it was just so popping it was spacious the time that i went there was nobody there so it was a very relaxing workout but i would highly 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 recommend to stay at this hotel if you are visiting phoenix the rooms were popping they're freshly constructed like my room was just so comfortable and i love this hotel but a lot of people were asking about the gym so i wanted to show you guys how it looked and where i was staying and now for real let's go ahead and get into the workout so 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 i'm starting off my workout doing some single leg deadlifts the benefits of this exercise include strengthening your back your core and your legs and it also helps to improve your balance so with this workout, I use the weight, I use the 10 pound dumbbell, but you can do it without a weight, especially if you're a beginner to this workout. And the key of this workout is you want to go slow. There is no rush, slow and steady wins the race. So what you do is you hold the weight on the side of your body where you're gonna do your legs. So I usually start on my left just because my left is stronger than my right hand side. And you just go forward with the weight at the same speed that you lift your leg up or if you're not using a weight you just go forward with your arm at the same rate that you're lifting that leg up you're gonna feel this in your core okay so i did 10 reps on each side and i did two sets of this workout So now I'm going to go into my first round of squats. In case you guys don't know, I have a squats over challenge that I'm hosting on my Instagram. So I just wanted to include that here so you guys can see what types of squats I'm doing for inspiration. But I guess these are backwards cable row squats. I don't know. It's just something that I started doing and I just feel like it's effective. So what I do is I use 15 pounds on the cables and i pull a cord from behind me and i just squat as you guys see me doing the tip with these is that when you come up with any squat you want to make sure that you squeeze your glutes and i always tell people the uglier your butt looks the better that means it's working okay <laughs> so next i'm gonna go into jumping rope in case you guys don't know jumping rope is my favorite type of cardio it is a full body workout you're using your abs to stabilize your body, your legs while you're jumping, and your shoulders and arms while you're turning the rope. And I usually just jump rope in between like each two, three exercises just to make sure that I get a sufficient amount of cardio throughout my workout. So the next exercise are these oblique cable twists. So what I do is I position my legs about shoulder width apart. And I position myself maybe at like a 2 p.m. position counterclockwise, if that makes sense. And as you are pulling the cable wires, you are going to feel it on your obliques, which are basically the sides of your abs. And what this exercise does is it helps you get that nice, sexy, defined line on your abs, which makes your stomach look popping, okay? So with this exercise, I do... 10 reps on each side and i do two sets so in total i did 40 of these cable twists and i felt the burn okay i felt it a hundred percent and with this exercise i find that it really really helps with defining that sexy line on my abs 
So I always try to squeeze these in my workouts. And also you guys are going to see other exercises throughout this series of different ways that I define different parts of my abs. But today was more of like a leg day. So next, I'm doing some hip thrusts. So for these hip thrusts, I use a 15 pound dumbbell weight and I use my heavy resistance band around my thighs to just, you know, add a little spiciness to this exercise. And I did 10 reps, two sets of this exercise. And with hip thrusts, the benefit of them is to improve your strength, speed, and power by teaching optimal hip extension. I do these on the bench sometimes, but I just decided to do them on the floor today since I had a lot of leg exercises in today's workout, but these help build your booty. Like this is the booty workout, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and jump a little rope, get that cardio in. And when I'm jumping rope, one thing that I like to do is I'll start off slow and then I'll just start jumping faster. But I love jumping rope. Like, I don't know what it is. And I used to hate jumping rope because I have terrible coordination. But trust me, pick a rope up, try to jump, and I promise you that you will see results and you'll feel so much better. Like, I promise you. So since today was a leg day, I'm going to go ahead and do some glute activators now. So I'm going to start off with these glute kickbacks. And what I do with this exercise is I bring my leg back until it's at a 90 degree angle. You don't want your leg to go straight. You don't want your leg to be like 180. You don't want it to be 45. We want it to be 90 degrees and we're going to kick back. So with these glute activators, I do 10 reps on each side, two sets, and then I'll move on to the next one. But by the time I get to doing these, I usually do these towards the end of my workout, my legs are like on fire. So I started incorporating them now like in the middle of my workout. So I'll go ahead and do those. So the next glute activated that I do are these like side kicks. And with these kicks, you feel them on the side of your booty okay like they hurt so bad so with these i do 15 reps on each side two sets and after that my legs are on fire but these glute activators are basically a way to get your glutes like going and i like them in the middle now because i do like some glutes before i'll do these and then i do some glutes after but y'all yeah. Yeah, <laughs> your girl glutes be on fire, okay? <laughs> so next, we are back to squats for our Squatober goals. This day was day two, so we were doing 55 squats. So I followed up after those cable squats with these standard squats. I used the 15-pound dumbbell in my hand, and I did... 15 reps of these and remember when you come up you want to squeeze and you want an ugly booty because that make the booty bigger okay <laughs> so to finish off day two squatober goals i'm gonna do some arm swings i did 20 of these arm swings and as i came up i came up on my tippy toes so I pushed up on my tippy toes and I squeezed my glutes as I came up and you feel the burn in your glutes as well as on your arms. Next, I'm going to do 10 burpees. I hate, hate, hate burpees. I think that burpees are the worst exercise ever, but it is a great full body workout and I try to incorporate at least 10 throughout my workout. And after I did those burpees, I'm doing these side bench jumps. I really don't know what they're called. If you know, comment down below. But I like to finish off my workouts with burpees and these just because they are great full body exercises. But that is basically my workout for the day. As you saw, we focus on legs today. And I do want to do episode two as like abs. 
but comment down below and let me know what else you guys would like to see in this fitness friday series on my channel before you head out do not forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting that red subscribe button down below because you'll be back for more sis we're getting these gains until the end of 2019 and beyond don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up comment down below also it's not too late to join in on my squat sober challenge head over to my instagram page and check out my fitness highlight i have a whole bunch of faqs as well as our schedule for the rest of squat sober up so don't be afraid to reach out if you guys have any questions and until my next video i will see you guys later